I recently read A Secret in the Keys by author Hope Holloway. It's the story of Beck, a soon-to-be divorcee who receives an invitation to attend a family member's party in Coconut Key, Florida. Beck longs for an island getaway, so she and one of her daughters leaves for Coconut Key, where she forges a relationship with her long-estranged aunt. She stumbles upon a romance, potential romance, and then she has to grapple with the effects of a lifetime of family lies. For the most part, I really enjoyed A Secret in the Keys. Uh, in the beginning, there were several scenes uh, that depicted life in Coconut Key, which I really liked because I enjoy books that uh, take place in sun-drenched islands. I enjoyed reading about the relationship between the mother and her three daughters, daughters as well as the relationship between the mother and the estranged aunt. Uh, for the most part, it was enjoyable. There were a few places that were sort of draggy, uh, but not enough that it turned me off from the book. I did deduct one star from my overall rating of the book because it contained quite a bit of profanities. In all the clean and wholesome books that I've read, they very rarely contain profanity, so I was kind of puzzled by it in this book. Uh, in my opinion, and I know nobody cares about my opinion, but in my opinion, profanities only serve to cheapen an author's book. Okay, Bear with me for a few seconds because I'm going to travel down a little rabbit hole for a few seconds about something that is a pet peeve of mine when I read books. And I know it's probably petty in the grand scheme of things, but I'm still going to say it. As a reader, I kind of find it annoying when authors give their character these beautiful, amazing names. And then through the dialogue, the characters shorten each other's names into nicknames. Um, I suspect authors probably do it because they think it gives the reader a sense of familiarity among the, the characters, but oh my gosh, it annoys me. In the book, the three daughters were named Savannah, Peyton, and Callie, and the mother referred to them all as Sav, Pay, and Cal. Now, I can get behind it if, like, say, a character's name is Matthew and everyone calls him Matt, or if his name is William and everyone calls him Will, but Sav, Pay, and Cal? It has over 2,500 five-star reviews on Amazon and an overall rating of 4.6. Uh, I gave it an overall rating of four stars out of five because of the profanities, uh, because I just don't think they belong in a clean and wholesome book. Uh, that said, if it sounds like something you might enjoy, I can still recommend that you go out and grab Hope Holloway's A Secret in the Keys.